Hey guys, this is James from Isotropic, and in this video, we're going to build a trending or popular post section in Oxygen Builder using a repeater or an easy posts element. And we're going to do something like popular news sites do. This is AP News. This is a really big publisher, and they have a trending news section. And this shows the most popular news articles published over a brief period of time. So um, within the past week, this has been the most viewed news article on AP, um, and it goes essentially from the most popular to the least popular. And I really like these type of sections for more um, the larger content publishing sites out there. So if you have a company with a big blog that publishes a lot of content, if you're a news publisher using uh, WordPress to publish, I think that trending and popular post sections are really good in terms of minimizing your bounce rate um, and also just offering readers very up-to-date and popular news articles for them to read. I think these sections are great and this tutorial will show you how to do that in Oxygen. We build as an agency a lot of news websites and uh, content websites in Oxygen because Oxygen is a great way to get a completely custom experience while always knowing that it's going to be fast and uh, beat those core web vitals just due to the, due to the really low bloat in the code output. Um, and as you'll see in this uh, article or in this tutorial, it's actually a really easy thing to kind of add and create for your website. So uh, with that being said, all of the information you'll need is in this blog post on Isotropic. It's linked in the description below. Before we get into this tutorial, I just quickly want to do a little promotion of the upcoming Oxygen Builder course that we're about to publish. Uh, this is coming really soon. It's completely filmed with Oxygen 4.0. It goes from beginner to intermediate to advanced. It has all of the information that you need, whether you're just starting to use Oxygen or have been using it for three years, you will get value out of this course. It's coming very soon, linked in the description of this video and also linked in the article. Uh, you can sign up for the waitlist and you'll get a launch notification alongside a discount in your email as soon as we launch this course. It's really going to be the best course on Oxygen Builder out there, putting a lot of effort and time into it. So it's going to be really good for you guys. All right. With that being said, let's get back into this tutorial and build a section, a trending news or a uh, popular post section for Oxygen using real data, not using something uh, that's fake. We're going to actually use view counts. So to do that, we need to understand how this mechanism works first. And it's really simple. It's the number of views over a specific time period. So for a popular post section, I would want to display the most viewed post in all time, the total, the total view count uh, of the post. And I, I'd want to say the most viewed post of all time is the most popular post. The least viewed post is the least popular post and everything in between should be ordered accordingly. And then for trending posts, I'm going to use the same view count, but I'm going to use it over a shorter period of time. So the most viewed article in the past 24 hours is the number one trending article on my website. And it may or may not be the most popular post, but it's more pertinent to the specific date uh, that a visitor is accessing the website on. And I think that this type of mechanism is really cool because, as I mentioned, uh, it shows your users the most accurate and up-to-date content for the specific current events going on. So to do this, we need to collect views on a specific blog post. And we're going to use a plugin called WordPress Popular Posts to collect those views. And this is a really, really well done uh, plugin. And I've been using this on a lot of websites in the past. Um, and what it does is it essentially collects the views of each individual WordPress post and it gives you pre-built widgets that you can then use to show the most popular posts um, on your website. And if you wanted to just kind of show the popular post and not incorporate it with a WordPress or an Oxygen Builder repeater or easy post element, you could simply just use this shortcode and add it to the Oxygen site. We're going to take it a step further and use the data that this plugin generates to then query the most popular to least popular post over a time period in a repeater or easy post element. And this gives us a lot more flexibility in terms of the design and styling and layout and data we're displaying because we can use oxygen to do all of that. 
Uh, something really quickly is I really like this plugin because as a developer, it's really well documented and easy to understand on GitHub. But even as a beginner, it comes with a ton of different features like a statistics dashboard and advanced caching and all that. So it's it's a really well done plugin and, and that's why it's popular. That's why 200,000 people use it. So the first step here is to install this plugin on your WordPress website. And I'll install the plugin right here. Um, and you can see that we've added this to the site and it's going to immediately start collecting views on each post. Now there's a negative, not for the performance of the website, but for this tutorial in that it's writing these view counts to a custom database table. It's not writing it to our post meta, which means we can't use the standard view count th that this tool is providing us to query WordPress posts because it's in a separate database table. It becomes really complex if we wanna use that data. So to bridge this gap, what we need to do is use the mechanism that WordPress Popular Posts has created to get the view count of each post and then use that to write in the view count of each post over a time period into a custom field associated with each post. So we're gonna take WordPress Popular Posts Every page view that it makes, we're going to write into our post meta under a custom field. Um, and then we can use that to query our blog posts. So the way we're going to do this is step two. We're going to head back over to this article. Step two, once we have the views, we need to add the views to the post meta. This isn't done by default, so we're going to have to use a code snippet to do this. If you remember, Oxygen Builder disables the functions.php, so we're going to need to use a code snippet management plugin. I'm going to use the free one code snippets, but my suggestion is scripts organizer, uh, which is a paid code snippet management tool. Uh, and it's built specific for oxygen. And we use this on all our client and production websites. So we're going to copy and paste this code into our WordPress website. So I'm going to go to code snippets, I'll add a new one, um, paste the code right in here and then activate it. And what this code does is, as the title suggests, it stores views of different time periods as meta keys. And then we can use this data to query our posts. And this is taken directly from um, a official WordPress support article for this plugin. Um, and the developer behind the plugin actually created this code. So we know it's, it's the best code we can be using to do this. And once installed, what it does is it takes the views for specific time periods and it writes it into the meta table for each individual post and it adds four new custom fields it has views total views daily views weekly and views monthly and it adds the monthly number of views the weekly number of views daily number of views and total number of views to blog posts and i'll show you what that kind of looks like so once we've installed this plugin and once we start loading blog posts and kind of viewing blog posts on their own it'll start collecting data for that and associating it directly with these posts. And you'll see that I have a bunch of fake posts that I've generated with Faker Press, which is a really cool plugin for developers that allows you to add bulk data into a site and then easily remove it before you go live. And if we go into this, this post right here and go down uh, to our custom fields, which I've enabled by going to the preferences, panels, custom fields, if we go down to those custom fields, we'll see that um, we've added these these various fields right here. And this is the daily number of views, the monthly number of views, total and weekly number of views associated with the post. And you'll see that if I go onto the front end and I load this post one, two, three more times, it'll accordingly add three more views into this counter. So it should be 17 or 16 views. And if I load it again, it'll say, oh, you viewed it 17 times. And we can use this data, which is being collected for each specific post. So this one uh, is just one example out of the 10 posts that I've associated with the website. We can use this data to say, oh, this is the most popular post over this given time period because it has the highest number of views. So let's show the most popular post at the top of our dynamic list of posts, and let's show the least popular at the bottom. And that's what this, again, if we go back here, this AP site's doing exactly this. This post has the highest number of views compared to this post with a lower number of views than everything else above it. And that's what a trending or popular post section is in essence. So 
now that we've created the mechanism for collecting views and now have the views uh, in a usable format for WordPress queries, the final thing to do is build out our repeater and then populate it based on or sort it based on this data that we now have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hop into a page and uh, in a production website, I'd probably create a repeater and then make it a reusable part and then place it wherever I want. And this repeater is just showing uh, our WordPress post. And then this is just the title of the post that I inserted with dynamic data. Um, underneath it, you'll see a number. And this is the number of views associated with this specific post. And the way I'm doing this, and the reason I'm doing this first off, is so I can validate that the number, the, the post with the highest number of views is being displayed at the top of the list. So this is just for testing. I could actually use this in the real website if I wanted to show the number of views, but it's not the most accurate way to do that. It's, it's kind of just a way to understand this is the most viewed over a time period. But the way I'm doing this is um, I'm going to custom field meta options. And if we've installed that post and or installed that snippet and done it correctly, I'm now going to have these custom fields that I can just insert into the front of my website. Um, and I'm just going to click on total, insert it, and that's now inserted. All right, so now what we need to do is use these numbers to order the post by most popular to least popular. And the way to do that is we're going to go to the repeater, query, advanced, and then click edit query. And we're going to use the advanced query settings in Oxygen Builder to do this. And up until a few years ago, this actually didn't exist. This feature didn't exist. Now it does and it makes our life really easy. So first, the post type is post. The posts per page is five. I only want to show five posts. If I want to show more, I can make it six or I can make it 10 or 20, something like that. No found rows, true. What this means is it's not going to display the pagination beneath the repeater. This disables pagination for a repeater. Now what I'm going to say is meta key views daily, and I can change views daily into views monthly, weekly, total, something like that. Uh, total I would use, views underscore total I would use for a popular post section. Uh, views underscore daily I would use for a trending post section. And this says, all right, we're going to pull data from views daily, and then we're going to use that to order our repeater. And then we're going to do order by the meta value number. So our meta value is coming from views daily. So the meta value in this situation might be 19. We're going to order the posts by meta value number and the order itself will be descending. And what this means is it's going to choose the highest number. The post with the highest number of views daily will be at the top of the list and it's going to go down the list. Um, in, until it gets to the least number of views. And that's about it. So these are the only, um, only query uh, parameters that we need. And these are all, again, these are all in our article uh, on how to do it. So here's the settings and here's the screenshot. And we'll just save this. And now we're going to have a most popular or trending post section. And I'll show you what that looks like on the front end. And you can see that this is showing just the most popular posts. Um, and it's, of course, this has been clicked on a lot more than this and all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open this a bunch of times, view it a bunch of times, and this should dynamically update. So now this is the most popular post. And if I open this one a million times, this will become the most popular post just because every page view is written into that, increasing that number of views and then allowing us to kind of view accordingly. So that is probably the easiest way to make a most popular or trending post section on Oxygen Builder. And again, the reason I didn't just go for the, um, the, the short code insert is because I can use this repeater to really style um, the, the various cards for these posts alongside um, choose what data I want to show with these posts. And you can get pretty kind of complicated and complex. So for example, on the isotropic blog, we use repeaters for all of it. Um, and you can show kind of individual uh, elements of content. And this is just, in my opinion, just a little bit better than um, going ahead and, and, and 
using the short code incorporated already into that plugin. So that hopefully showed you how to create a trending post section or a popular post section. Again, all of the code and all the information and additional information is included in this article right here, which is linked in the description below. Again, I just want to quickly mention you can sign up for a launch notification and discount for the Oxygen Builder course that we're coming out with very soon. This is a course, again, that we're making to be the best course available, um, and it's going to cover a lot of different things. And I think people who are beginners and people who are developers will each find value in it, and you can grow with it. You can request content for it. You can really, this is made to be the best, uh, the best course out there. So grab a launch notification and discount by clicking this button. Go right here, click coming soon, and uh, enter your email address. All right. Uh, until the next video, I won't see you. In the next video, I will.